And now for something completely different. Hi guys, my name is Matt Wilson and I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of the Rope Dive Vlog. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be stepping away from denim and we're going to be talking about leather. Specifically we're going to be talking about naturally vegetable tanned leather. I'm going to show you how to take something like this and turn it into something like this. So I think the reason that denim heads love naturally vegetable tanned leather so much is that it shares so much in common with our beloved denim. They all start off the same, just like a fresh pair of rods, but then with use, with wear, with tear, they build up this patina, which is the leather equivalent of a fade. And this patina is completely unique to that individual. And it just, it means it's the perfect companion to denim. So let's just quickly talk about how leather is made. Because there's a very big difference between the skin that initially comes off the animal and the finished product, which is leather. So it starts off, you have to kill the animal. It's sadly unavoidable. You remove the animal skin. Then you use a mixture of water and lime to remove any hairs, any dirt that's built up. And then it's tanned. And this tanning process is what turns the animal skin into leather. It's basically a preservation process. After this, the leather is, is dried. And then it goes on to a finishing process. So it's either aniline, semi, semi aniline if I'm saying that right, or pigmented. So in this case, we're going to be looking at aniline vegetable tanned leather. Now the vegetable tanning process is 100% organic. It just uses thyme, lime, water, and I believe tree bark is the most common material used in the tanning process. There are probably other organic materials out there that, the, that are used, but I think the majority of the time is going to be tree bark. And at the end of this process, you really get something so beautiful. You get this leather with this very, very light hue to it. I mean, I've seen ones that are almost white. You can see any imperfections, any scars that the animal once had, any insect bites. And they're not really imperfections, they just add to the depth and add to the character of the final product. But yeah, how do we turn this into something like this? Well, like a raw denims, it's actually incredibly simple. It's just use. But there are a few things we can do to start off on the right foot. So firstly, and arguably the most important point, is going to be your choice of product. Just like your perfect fade, it's going to take like a really long time to build up this perfect patina. So you're going to want something that can stand up to the rigors of daily use and abuse, because you're going to be using this thing hard, just like your jeans. You're also going to want something that's timeless. You're going to want something that you're going to want to keep for this longer period of time, this time that it does take to build up this, this patina with this use. I mean, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm using a belt from Diamond Goods. I know Mike, I know him personally. He's an amazing artisan. He uses only the finest leather, the finest hardware. I know this thing's going to last and I know that I love the style and I know I'm going to love the style in a year's time, two years time, three years time. So it's really going to have a chance to build up that patina, to get that dirt, to get that, that tan, to, to really build up the depth that it takes to, to get this beautiful sheen. To get this belt off to the best possible start, we want to put down a solid foundation for the patina to sort of build upon. And this is incredibly simple. It's much like taking a British person abroad. You just give them a drink and put them out in the sun. In this case, the drink I'm going to be giving the belt is the Red Wing Shoes All Natural Boot Oil. A natural blend of pine, pitch and mink oil. This stuff's fantastic. But there's also a plethora of other really great natural leather conditioners out there. In the past, I've used beeswax to pretty good effect. With the beeswax, it builds up kind of a, a yellowy tint, yellowy tone to the tan that builds up. This stuff, it's more sort of ochre, more brownie. It's just, it's 100% personal preference. Just the important thing here is that you use an all natural product. This stuff has been kept away from nasty chemicals purposefully. You don't want to now just fill it full of all sorts of man-made toxic nasties. It's best to do this when the product's brand new. All I've done is I tried this belt on for size and it's already picked up a little bit of indigo from my jeans. That's totally fine, it's not gonna make any difference at all. And then it's a case of just sparingly 
covering the outer surface, the smooth surface of the leather with enough oil to get kind of an even tone throughout. What you don't want to do is put any oil on the underside. This would be the inside of the animal and this is very, very porous to get any kind of even coverage here. You'd have to really, really soak this thing and saturate it with the oil. It would just be too much. It would make the leather just far, far too limp and nobody wants a limp belt. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to use some old sheets, just some old cotton sheets. This stuff doesn't exactly wash out, so be careful about getting on your clothes, be careful about getting on your table as well. I'm actually going to put down, I'm going to use that for putting the oil on. I'm going to use this to make sure that it doesn't get on my table. There we go. Take some of your oil, put a little bit, just really a little bit on the cloth and then just start by rubbing it in. Now you don't really don't want to rush this. It's going to take a little bit of time but you don't want to over saturate one part and then leave other parts uh, dry. You just have to be a little bit patient. So guys, at this point you're probably thinking, Matt, what the fuck did you tell me to do? What the hell have I just done to my beautiful new leather product? It's all blotchy. It's any scars, any imperfections just like jumping out and screaming at me. Guys, don't worry. It's totally fine. All that's going to happen is the oil or whatever other uh, leather conditioner you're using, it's just going to soak in and it's going to dry and the leather is going to return to probably pretty close to its original color. It's the next part that's going to be the difficult part and that is you just have to not use it. What you have to do is you have to put this thing in daylight, in direct sunlight if that's possible, for as long as possible. And you'll see actually very quickly that these things really darken down, they really tan and this is the foundation you're going to want to have for building up your patina on top of this. So yeah, leave it as long as possible, whenever possible. I see it far too often The guys have got their, their new veg tan leather product and they've just like either put the belt on or thrown the wallet in their pocket and yet it has built up like a little bit of a patina, it's taken some indigo off their jeans, it's like maybe taken some grease off their hands but it just looks kind of like sad and grey and grubby and that's cause they didn't go through these initial steps, they either didn't know or they weren't patient enough. So trust me, you don't want that, it doesn't look great. So that's it guys, it's as simple as that. Once you've left it outside as long as you can possibly bear it, just start using it, abuse it, use it as much as possible, exaggerate the use even. If you've been working on your bike and your hands are all mucky, just like pick it up and give it a good rub, just watch the leather soak up the dirt. If you've got a brand new pair of rods, just wear it in your back pocket as much as you can. Just watch it soak up all that indigo. It's, it's really incredible how the patina develops over the time. Now, keep an eye on it, all you have to do is maybe once, twice a year, um, give it a coat of leather conditioner if it needs it. Look, you see if any cracks are appearing, if it's looking a little bit porous, then just like give it a quick once over, especially if it's got wet, that's gonna be really important. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little deviation from the denim and I hope it brought you something. And guys, we would love to see some of your patinas in a few months time. If you're looking for a naturally vegetable tanned leather product. We've got a load of them, including my stuff, this very belt over in the web store. I put a link in the description. And also, a couple of years ago, I did an article on this very wallet and how to start off a patina. I put a link in the description for that as well. Head over to ropedye.com and read all about it. Till the next time, listen guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it really does help us out, especially when we're trying to build this channel. And till next time, I'll see you in the next vlog.